All right, all right. Let's test this out to see if we're streaming effectively. How y'all doing? I'm gonna check on the old iPad real quick to make sure. Oh, you guys. Yes. All right, there I am. All right, let's turn that off. Hey, welcome. Uh, Joey uh, here from Dark Block. Uh, what we're going to do today is something a little bit different. We're going to do show and tell. We're going to create an ebook from scratch, more or less. Uh, we're going to utilize some AI technologies like Midjourney and maybe Chat GPT if it's up. We're then going to take all of these assets that we've created, uh, an EPUB, a PDF, a, oh, I got echoes. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm a genius at what I do. Um, an EPUB, a PDF, various art, and we're going to uh, create an NFT. We're then going to upgrade that NFT with unlockable content so that only the owner of the NFT can have access to it, essentially publishing your work on the blockchain. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, make it available uh, to download um, by anybody watching uh, for free. And you'll have more or less a recipe on how to do this yourself. All right, let me see what we got here. All right. And we might have guests uh, come in uh, today while we're talking. I'd like to imagine this would be like a, a party uh, at my house and everyone's hanging out in the kitchen. And while I'm cooking, uh, we can discuss, uh, you know, the state of the industry um, as a writer, as an author, how you get your book out the door. <laughs> hey, hey, doggy. Um, oh, and we'll even add chat uh, today as an overlay, see how that works. Um, and off we go, yeah. So I'm going to share my screen. And what we're going to start today is we're going to publish a book. We're going to make a new version of Alice in Wonderland. All right, let's see how these different screens look. I'm trying to find the best way to display all this. All right. Uh, so went over to the Project Gutenberg, and um, let's type that in. Um, Project Gutenberg, Alice in Wonderland. And what we're going to snag is a copy uh, of Alice in Wonderland, and we'll make some slight edits, kind of, and uh, publish it again. Hey, Cryptoversal, nice to see you. Uh, one thing that kind of blew my mind is there were thirty thousand downloads of this Alice in Wonderland. It has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I was like, wow, that's a lot of downloads. Uh, all right, so I've downloaded the uh, PDF version and then started editing it. So let me show you where I'm at. So I uh, was able to copy and paste uh, in, this is in design, and I'm just gonna do the first chapter. So we still need to generate a cover uh, to this book, which we will do using kind of fancy AI. Um, I already did an initial layout. I have totally forgotten how to lay out uh, <laughs> uh, documents. So forgive me if this all sucks, but what the heck. Um, put a background image, just something just to have. And essentially here's the, the text of chapter one. And what we're gonna do this first go round is generate a, uh, a cover uh, for the book, essentially. And then maybe, um, you know, in chapter one, the white rabbit shows up and um, Alice looks into the, uh, the hole in the tree. Um, so let's, let's generate that. So let's start that with, we need a book cover and we'll do that with chat GPT. I already did some uh, versions of it just in case everything went horrible today. Um, so I already have them, but let's let's do one from scratch. Hey, Wit. So uh, I could use some ideas. So what kind of a uh, book cover uh, would you like? Uh, what kind of style? And here I'll have some prompts I've already worked on. So 
Let's work with this. So this is Mid Journey. It works with props. And let's say here's already a rabbit prompt I made. But let's replace this and make it a book cover. So book cover for Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to try to watch chat while I'm doing this stuff today. Psychedelic. I love it. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's add psychedelic. That spelled right? I, I, I don't know if I know how to spell psychedelic. Uh, I do want bright colors. Uh, do we want to keep... Let's not even use the original ar um, artist style. Book cover for Alice in Wonderland. Action pose. We're not really doing a pose here. I do like the... Uh, Cheshire Cat. I think that's just freaking cool. All right. Did we spell psychedelic right, Dari? Can, can, I, can I get a, uh, a check here? I guess it didn't. Um, I guess that is right. All right, let's just try this. So what we're doing is we're say, we send prompts into mid-journey. You could say a combination of what you'd like to, to have on it generate, what style of art, you know, do it pointillist style, do it Lichtenstein style. Hey, Joseph. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see what it does with the misspelling. It's funny that it's... Oh, these are looking looking good. And then you can see the percentage. It kind of slowly fades in. If you haven't played around with it, I highly recommend it. Um, on one side, you know, artists might think it's taking their job, but I don't think so. I think it supplements their job. Um, all right, one, two, three, or four. Um, ooh, I like two. Hey, man, I don't know if I can do votes here. Let's see if I can do voting. All right, no voting. English, <laughs> it's not my first language either. Dari, it's such a cop out. Uh, one, two, or three. Um, so which one do you guys like? Do you all like? And then what I'll do is I'll make a bigger version of it. And then we'll put some text over it. And then boom, ready to go. And hopefully you can see these. I'm trying not to expose all my conversations. It's a bit blurry. Mm. Well, that's, uh, there's nothing I can touch here. Let me see. Videos at high def. Um, let's see what I can do. I'm trying to figure out something. Uh, at this resolution, there number three, uno dos tres, with the writing on there, Aragi. I don't want it to have writing because then I have to cut it out. Um, yeah, the screen share. And I'm watching the chat. Uh, any other? All right, number two. I like number two. Yeah, yeah. Aragi, let's go number two. Let's get this party started. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upscale number two. It'll take 30 seconds. Yeah. Hey, Joseph. Yes, sir. And then let me go get Photoshop fired up. And hopefully my uh, computer doesn't die because I got streaming. It does look good. And really, just the nuance of the words you use um, can do dramatically different results. Like it's it's kind of a creative game changer. Let's see. All right. While we're waiting, let's see what else we need. Probably need a, a rabbit, a white rabbit. And I have one ready. Let's see if you, you all like, uh, like that Cheshire Cat's pretty incredible. Let me see. Oh, you can also play. Uh, I decided to uh, cast famous people. So this is uh, Brad Pitt as the white rabbit and uh, Margot Robbie. As the as Alice in Wonderland, so the remix I think is where it's really going to be fascinating for the future. You know, you could have Bruce Willis do every movie um, if you want. So let me find my good rabbit here. This guy's a banger. Let's use him and put him inside the book somewhere. So let's place him, and he's called White Rabbit. 
Hey, Prism. And place. I was having to remember all these things. All right, so we got a white rabbit. And let's just place him. And my skills here are not very good, so I apologize in advance if you're a professional layout person. And wrap the text around and then give it a little bit more space here. Let's see what I can do. There we go. All right, so we've now added a, a white rabbit uh, to the book. And then let's see where we are in our cover. Oh, come on now. Like, look at that. All right, let's pop that into Photoshop real quick so we can get this thing laid out. And then the goal here is I'm gonna wind up with an, an EPUB file. Hey, Jen, how you doing? I'm firing up, oh, Photoshop just moved on me. Hold on, Photoshop. It might be, um, I, am I clear? Because I don't see the blurriness and I don't have a dial to change it. That's my worry. I don't have any other dial. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Um, oh, I'm blurry too? Oh. Maybe it's bandwidth? Let me see. I can change my network settings so I, I'm a priority in the house. I don't know. Let's see. I apologize. Um... Yeah, maybe resolution. No say, senor. Um, so let's grab this new cover we got. There it is. Oh, that looks cool. Um, and we should probably put uh, the name Alice in Wonderland somewhere on it, I'm guessing. Alice in. Change font in a second. Bottom left corner of the share window, select optimize for a clip in the bottom left corner of the share window. Well, bottom left corner of the share window. Let me see what I can do here. Settings, video. I don't think I have any of that. I'm actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Joseph. I, I don't have any of that. I'm using uh, Restream. Like you can just kind of see, this is turtles all the way down. Um, there's not a lot of... I am not blurry, but my screen is blurry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about I, I motor through this, and then I stop sharing the whole screen, and then I'll just share a browser window. Uh, the rest of the way out and then maybe that uh, helps so let's just kind of pump this out um all right so the av team gonna roll in the av cart i think we're all if you ever had the av cart i don't think uh, kids these days have that they just have projectors in their rooms ready to go um i need some fonts i'm a big uh Denmark. Uh, and again, the purpose here is just to kind of show what what's ooh, what can be done. Do I want to put this on his ears? Maybe. And let's. I already know Darius like wants to yell at me because this uh, my skills aren't the super strongest here. All right. check the old chat <laughs> what did i do we should go to settings find that quality up change the regular 
Uh, okay, hold on, settings. Video. I got full definition general. I got full definition on both. Uh, just FYI. Yeah, full definition on both. Yeah, but yeah, I'm keep on going, keep on going. As uh like this isn't my forte, but let's keep on going. All right, so we got I don't know. Thumbs up. Let's space these. Mm. Legibility is a problem. I don't Alice in Wonderland. All right. Motor on through it. Um, let's just say this is an image. Flatten this guy. And let's try to place this. Let's see if we have to crop it or something. All right. Let's go back here. And let's get our book published here. Oh, it changed that one. That's what I get. Here we go. Oh, there's going to be some InDesign people just mocking me. I'm not sweating. You're sweating. Does that make it bigger? Double click again. I'm double clicking this guy. On the square. This square? Why am I bad at my job? Why is this my job? I think I can get it. And if I can grab the whole dude, I can't grab the whole dude. I think my place is the problem. <laughs> this is in design, a cryptoversal. Yeah, yeah, this is in design. And dude, last time I fired this up, I think I was way younger. So I should be able to move this, but I'm I'm not able to grab this guy. This is the guy I want to move. But he does. All right, hold on. Maybe there's another way for me to do this. I just drag it in. Oh, maybe. Please, please, Jesus. Oh, baby, Jesus. Double click here. Nope. This works so good in rehearsal. Enter to the black. Ah. Nope. Nope. Thing is, I'm unable to place it where I want. Oh, I'm starting to get there. Am I touching it right? Phrasing. All right, maybe I can get a black. Correct, control shift C, control shift C. I think we're okay. You okay? If I put a black background, will I be kicked out of uh, PageMaker Club? Let's see, fill, black, bring this guy to the top, cancel. How we doing? Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Good news, it's all blurry for you as well. So, killing it. Should stretch it. <laughs> I did, how did we lose my face? Here we go. All right, here we go. So, what we got is a book. Let me close this. We have a cover, and we're going to go export this out. Looks good. Good enough. All right. Let's export. 
as a PDF to start. So I'm going to put that in my uh, desktop. It's the money maker. And then let's export this as a uh, EPUB. Fix layout, fix layout. Save. All right, and it opens up my reader. Oh, the cover might be a different thing, but let's go. All right, so I'm done with this guy. Um, next step. Let's do some NFTs. Don't save, save. And then I'm going to go open up just my browser so you guys can see a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally need a Prism's magic. All right, I'm going to change the setting here. Hold on. And I am going to share Chrome tab. All right. Back into a control. All right, let's go create the NFT. So we're going to go over to Third Web. All right. So uh, Third Web, let me see if we get the front page here. Uh, you log in with your wallet. Start building. We already have a bunch of things. What we're going to be doing is an addition drop. Uh, similar to the one that we did uh, last week uh, for the Crypto Groundhog Day. Um, Groundhog, CryptoGroundhog.xyz. If you want to grab your own NFT right here, right now. But what we'll do is we're going to create a addition drops. We're going to deploy a new contract. What is third web? Oh, Joseph, third web is one of my favorite things in the world. So it's a company that provides smart contracts that have already been audited uh, and allows you to create NFTs and NFTs of all different types and flavors and combinations uh, using their prefab tools. So for instance, this is the Explore tab. So you can go to Third Web, connect with your wallet. Um, you can do NFT drops and create a marketplace. You can do split contracts so that when an NFT is purchased, the money automatically gets divided based on the rules that you set. Uh, you can do your own token, Joey token coming soon when Lambo. Um, packs, you can do, you can sell NFT packs that when opened, uh, you receive a, a, a random NFT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third Web's incredible. And they support um, EVM chains. Uh, they also support Solana. Uh, EVM is where they have the most uh, smart contract options. And then they have a whole suite of tools. And we'll do that uh, right now. So let's go make our... Edition drop. So I'm going to deploy a new contract. And you can do this yourself. You just connect uh, your wallet. This kind of cool. You got it. A hundred percent. The money gets divided. The money. The money gets divided automatically. There's nobody in the way. Uh, Bank of America is not in the way. Walmart's not in the way. Um, Fang companies aren't in the way. All right. Let's do an edition drop. That's what we said we we're going to do. I'm going to deploy a new contract. So they have all kinds of amazing support videos, their Discord, their guides. There's like no way you can mess this up. All right, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to grab an image. All right, and this is going to be Alice in Wonderland. A description. Um, I was I used Chat GPT earlier to write a summary. Let me see if it's uh, if it's running right now. I think last time I went, it wanted me to pay. So hold on one second. Sign in. 
There you go. I'm just going to sign in with the random email address. So chat GPT, they now, they um, when I logged in, they wanted money. I'm not prepared uh, to give them that yet. Um, let's see. Let's see what I have here. Hold on just one second. Forgive me. Oh, yeah, more technical difficulties. Doesn't seem to be up, but here's what I did. I wrote, uh, I used a tool called uh, AppSonic, Write Sonic, and uh, asked it to give me a summarize. So write a book jacket summary of Alice in Wonderland that doesn't reveal the ending, but urges a person to want to read the book. And this is what it came back with. And I'll use that as the description for my uh, edition drop, and then we'll use it again for the NFT. Uh, so I'll show that to you shortly. Uh, primary sales, where the money goes, you can do splits. Um, all kinds of extra things that I don't even uh, know how fully work, but what we're going to do is just deploy this. It should pop up my MetaMask in just a minute, which it is. Uh, you don't see it, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> so this cost me 17 cents in Matic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be a whole set of prefab traits that go with, with books. Makes perfect sense. My screen is my screen still super blurry now that I'm sharing the uh, and what we're doing is waiting for uh, kind of third web. So we've signed and we're just going to take a second again. Web three, it's not always 100%. Still blurry, dude. Maybe it's a sign, but my face is clear. There's no other setting. It's honestly, let me see. If I make it full screen, can't read anything on the screen. Great. I'm waiting for this to get through. My face is clear. Yeah, so that's definitely. I'm sorry, guys. I wonder if my virtual background. All right, successfully deployed contract. Now, is that clear? Yeah, yeah, I just saw that. I'm trying to figure out what I can do about it, though. Uh, nope. Yeah. Um, looking, yeah, I've seen all the screenshots you guys are sending me in Slack. Yep. Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Joseph. I'm trying to figure out what my options are. I don't know of any. There's no extra button for me to click here. All right, hold on a second. Resolution on my Mac. On your Mac, choose Apple menu, system settings, click displays on Safari. You may need to scroll down. All right, hold on. System settings. Uh, and click displays and sidebar. Yeah. All right, Prism, what else would I have to do? Genuinely perplexed. Yeah, I'm scrolling down. I've got all my resolutions. I can lower the resolution. Kind of defeats the purpose. I've changed the resolution of this uh, screen here. Hmm. 
I'm going to stop screen sharing and go start it again, do a Microsoft solution. Yeah, I lowered it. You let me know if this is any better. Okay. Uh, so we've deployed our contract. Super clear. What? Okay. Now let's create our NFT. Are you sharing app? I'm same, same. God darn it. We can move to a Zoom. Um, just thinking what I'm what I should do here. No. No, it's all actual size. To the window, to the wall. That nope, browser's not small. Uh -uh. Better. Mm, okay. Well, let's just uh, do it. All right. So, uh, smart contract deployed. Try making it smaller. <laughs> All right, let's create the NFT. So uh, Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> uh, let's upload our book cover. Um, which one did we select? That new one. See what the file is called. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Ragi, for the link. Um, I think we called it... White Rabbit Mid Journey. Under the options, third one, which contract is that? Uh, NFT edition. Yep. I like that I can't see which image I want. Here we go. Thank you for catching up. All right. So there's that. Let's put our summary in here. All right, uh, trait type, book, classic. You can do whatever you want. It would be neat if we did have a preset set. Let me try, hey Frank. Try application window sharing in stream. Yard instead of entire screen. Uh, I'm only sharing the browser. I'm not sharing entire screen anymore. Uh, all right, so we're gonna mint this NFT. Should pop open. My MetaMask, which you won't see. I just did. Uh, this will cost four cents to mint. Deploying. So essentially we have an NFT, right? We have a ping file and a smart contract. Um, not stream guys that have entire stream. Uh, smart contract and a ping file, but Ideally, if I'm buying a book, I want the EPUB, I want the PDF, I want, you know, DVD extras, I want a, more. And that's what Dark Block can enable. So as soon as this is done, we will jump into the Dark Block side. Try application window. I will try application window. Let me do that, Frank. While this is waiting, I'm going to window. And I'm going to share this. No. Uh, yes. So, uh, Joseph, I'll show you in just a second. So inside, right now we've got a supply of zero. Inside the NFT, uh, the, the next step is claim conditions. So claim conditions are where we define the rules. So add initial claim phase. So 
you could essentially do your NFT launch in phases. There's just so many ways to remix this. But initial drop is what we'll call it. We can set a timer on when the, the minting button is available. We can set how many NFTs we want to make available. So we're just going to do unlimited for this one. But let's say you wanted to make, you know, 10 are available. And this is the whitelist drop. Uh, and you can set that up here. Make sure you guys can see this. Correct. There's there are so many variations. Um, there are documents. Their YouTube videos really get into this. So how much you want to charge? This is where you would set uh, the price. We can pick uh, currency, wrap, wrap Bitcoin, wrap ETH, uh, US. Perfect. So we're gonna make this free. Uh, any wallet can claim it, we don't care. And then how many NFTs per wallet? Uh, we don't care, but we could just say one, especially if you're doing a free mint, you know, you, the first bump is free and then you gotta pay for the rest. Um, whatever business motivation you have, there are tools to allow you to remix it. All right, so we're gonna do initial drop, gonna turn it on, unlimited NFTs, any wallet can claim and unlimited NFTs per wallet. So I'm gonna save this. MetaMask, this is going to cost me six cents. Uh, I, I, I don't, good question. Um, I think if you make it, you know, one wallet per, I think that might be, might help you limit some of that bot madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I just had to click uh, sign MetaMask. I think this is four cents. So our investment so far is about 25 cents. Saving it takes, a, it takes a bit. Let me check. Uh... We're just waiting for uh, third web contracts to get updated. All right. So as that's about going to finish, uh, then we have an NFT. And what we want to do is uh, upgrade that NFT. As the creator of the NFT, I am granted abilities to add files to that NFT. So good boy. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're just waiting for that. Let me see. Groundhog. And what we'll do is we will uh, drop the NFT in our uh, WordPress uh, site so that anybody can claim it. So let me get it. All right. So it looks like it's done. All right. So we have an NFT. And they also have the ability to embed uh, that NFT uh, on your own website. So we'll, we'll do that in just a second. But next step, let's log into Dark Block. Let's see if this is the initial ones in my wallet yet. Let me mint the first one. All right. NFTs. Someone's already snagged it. Uh, I have a feeling our man at Augie's in there. And we have to wait until the um, indexers, but I should be able to find it. So let's find this guy. And where's the address? Uh, just one sec. So we rely on indexers, um, Morales, on Marshall, Tez Talk, uh, to keep track of who owns an NFT at any one time. Let's see. 
So I'm waiting for it to show up in my wallet. Thanks, Augie. All right, so here's the Alice in Wonderland book. Um, based on the contract ID and token, uh, which is zero, um, it was created for my wallet. I then have the ability to add content to this NFT. So I'll do that. So let's add the EPUBs. So let's find our EPUBs called Alice in Wonderland EPUB. Here's the first one. Uh, that. And make it available for download. So you can download it and put it in your, your own e-reader. Uh, this version. The mask is popping up. Doesn't cost you anything to use Dark Block. We're going to absorb the costs, the one time fee to put it up in ROE for 200 years. So let's just double, triple check. And it's not in my wallet yet, but it will show up shortly. Uh, essentially, it's got to make a trip through something called Bundler. On its way to our weave, we were seeing, I don't know, 10 minute delays, five minute delays. I wish it was on our side that we could tweak it and make it better. Um, but Web3, Web3, man. All right, so Alice in Wonderland PDF. This is the PDF version. I'll download, create, sign. Let's see if this guy is showing up. Not yet. And let's put some art in here. So I have some additional art. Sure, cat. Out of the indexer yet. Thank you, sir. So I'm just going to put three pieces of art along with my book, right? Offer something a little bit more uh, for the fans. Media. And we're still waiting for, normally I'm doing everything on a live stream, it's a little bit uh, stressful, but normally there's a little bit of delay sometimes between uh, creating that NFT and having it show up on indexers or having it show up in your wallet. And you're kind of at the mercy of, you know, the, the blockchain at times. Uh, what we're doing here is we kind of have shortcuts right now, so we're able to add dart blocks to it. I am the creator of this NFT. Therefore, I have these extra capabilities. We are uploading the content, and then th that, too, will have to make its way through uh, to our weave. It might be a couple minutes of delay. All right, and here's uh, Alice. Alice the dart. Download. So we're kind of shortcutting some things here a little bit. NFTs sometimes aren't an immediate ratification process just because. Uh, let's grab one more. I think I have a cool rabbit art. Uh, um, there we go, rabbit. Rabbit. Allow download, create. And one more thing, I'll put a piece of video content up here. So we'll have an NFT. It's Alice in Wonderland. We'll have an EPUB version of it, a PDF version of it, three pieces of concept art. And I think I have a video as well, so I'll add that. Uh, let's see. Alice video. I think that's right. Alice promo video.
Thank you, Ragi. Not in the indexer yet, I see. All right. Copy link. All right, so we do have, let's go back real quick. And we do have this NFT. And we have some embed code. People are already complaining. Already, yeah, two, two have been minted. And what I want to do is I want to put this up on our uh, WordPress site. So uh, darkblock.io slash Alice. Here, I'll just go there. Uh, Alice. Nothing there yet. Um, but I'm going to put something in there right now. So let's put in a container. And let's put in some code. Where's the code block? All right. So inside of Third Web, under embed, uh, they have some prefab code that I will literally paste. Where is my edit? It's Martin Morales is the problem. Yeah, yeah. If you build an NFT in Third Web, where does it get offered for sale? Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll show you. Um, we could have it available for sale on OpenSea. So let me knock this out real quick. All right. So I'm embedding some code. Um, let me put in some text here. Yeah. Here, let's open up OpenSea here. Uh, make sure my wallet is connected. Uh, and let's look in the contents profile. So created. Here's the Alice in Wonderland book. Uh, I can list it for sale. Amount. Uh, 0.00. zero. Oh, one. So for 16 bucks, I can sell one chapter. Set duration, 28 days, complete listing. What's it going to cost me? Total price service fee, 2.5%. My wallet's popping open. Approve. You are granting access to all your NFTs. Proceed with caution. Yeah, I'm going to reject. Correct. Yeah, we, we can edit the price. So you can keep it, the transaction purely in crypto. So somebody comes by your WordPress site, they hit claim, you charge them 0.1 polygon, whatever you want to charge, and you can close the deal right on your own site. Uh, the advantage of putting it up on OpenSea, again, is hopefully their audience can somehow find you. Um, or you can just build out your own audience on your own vanity site. So let's go back here. Let me put a piece of text in here. And I'll make this sexier. Uh, so claim this free NFT. Save. All right. So I'm going to do an update. So if you go to darkblock.io slash Alice, do the embed, correct. Uh, you could claim this NFT for free right now. Um, once it's in your wallet, you can go to app.darkblock. Let's see if this has been registered yet. Yeah, right. Okay, so what you're seeing here is the NFT I claimed, we were waiting for the indexers to catch up, which they did. The art has shown up. Also, all of the files that we added. So let me authenticate ownership. MetaMask popped up. Since I'm the owner, I'm the only one allowed to see these things. So if you go to the darkblock.io slash Alice, you can claim this for yourself. And what we have is... 
the book sloppy sloppy <laughs> sloppy book i did um right this is a immutably attached to, to this nft so your collectors your fans your consumers have access to it and we can add the embed we'll add our our own embed to the site in just a minute um concept art Right, we did a little GIF. Use a burner wallet, yeah. Uh, and then we got a video up there. It's gonna be stored up there for 200 years. Pulling from our weave, cold storage. That's an encrypted file decrypting through our protocol and proxy servers and delivered to your screen. Right. All right. So this little widget right here, this kind of the dark block viewer, the mothership. Uh, uh, this is the thing where the attachments. Hey, Doggy, thanks. Where all of the uh, dark blocks can be authenticated and viewed. So let's get this guy up on that uh, website. So what I need. Let's go to our. Dark block embed. We have a number of uh, uh, types of embeds. Let's see. <laughs> Loggy already built. Man, Loggy, you are a machine. Nice spelling, bro. So there is uh, where you can claim and then also connect your wallet. And view the dark blocks. I'll add that link uh, up on that Alice site just so you don't get lost. So let's do this. Where are we at on my Alice site? Here we go. All right, let's add another. Uh, uh, quick and dirty. And this is all quick and dirty. We'll just make it better. Um, this is a link to the Vanity Stand Alone site. Okay. To mint for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a whole a flow um, to make a mint gasless. So somebody can come in with a fresh wallet and essentially you, the creator, um, pay for the the gas so that they can can download it. Um, By economy, open Zeppelin. There's a whole process. There's great documentation on how to set it up yourself. So um, what our man Aragi already has done um, with this site. Let's see, Where's Alice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll turn this into a link. Boy, my WordPress skills. There we go. That's all. We'll, I'll make. We'll make this sexier after the stream is over. You got it. So if you were to have your own, if we had joseph.com and you were you had your own bookstore, uh, you could allow people to mint. See, there's six minted already. You could allow people to mint and pay or mint for free with no gas or you would pay the gas. So we'll do that with our book sampler that we'll have done probably by the end of the month. It won't be as convoluted and my screen will be clearer. Um, we're looking for authors to help. Um, you know, if you've, if you've got a book you're going to publish, um, let us borrow one chapter from it, a sampler. Uh, which tutorial? Uh, I think it's right here. Gasless transactions. So if you click the learn more link, there's the open relayer and there's also the Biconomy. Uh, I've used the Biconomy. Um, I think Open Zeppelin 
is what maybe Ragi used. Can't read. There you go. That hurts. Hurts my feelings. Yep. <laughs> I'm so sorry, it's blurry. I have no idea. I'm going to run some tests. Yeah. All right. So uh, within an hour, <laughs> we created uh, a book uh, with a crappy layout, um, but we created a book, published it as an EPUB, published it as a PDF. Uh, we then grabbed some fun art uh, for the cover. Uh, we used a chat GPT to help create a summary of what the, the book's going to be about. We created an NFT on third web, which is amazing, amazing tools. And we set the price. Ah, thanks Prism. I I'm going to figure out what's wrong with the, uh, the screen. Like it's stuff like that hurts my feelings. Any part of the initial PDF readable without owning the NFT. Um, I mean, you could, in the description, um, you know, provide a summary of what's inside. But the, the deal with the dark blocks is if you're not part of the club, you don't get to have access to the, uh, the content. So if you did not buy, if you did not mint, uh, we are protecting and uh, building that tool, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prism's... Prism is just on a, on a whole other no level. Um, all right. Created the EPUB. Created um, AI art. Created AI summary. Used Third Web to mint an NFT and set claim conditions. We then used Dark Block to add content to the NFT. <laughs> um we then took the NFT and made it claimable on our website. And we even had uh, a vanity website whipped together and an embed both for claiming and for consuming uh, the content. Um, all right, man, I feel, what else, what else, what else you guys, what else, how else can I help you? The book to be readable or the summary of the book to be readable? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Anybody can jump on in. Uh, so here, let's see. So this right here, this link I'm putting in chat right now. Uh, open the book. Open the book. Here's the book. I can go to individual pages. Again, remember my layout skills are trash. Um, page width. There's all kinds of different uh, vertical scrolling, no spreads. That's what I want, no spreads. And page fit, right? Close that guy. The, I'm trying to prevent what happens when something like soul type, where all the books they mint are readable without ever buying. Yeah, yeah. Well, with this, you can't read this book right now unless you've minted it. Uh, you won't be able to read this book without buying it. Yeah, there's an EPUB reader. Let me get the, so here's the EPUB. It's going to load it up. Is there full screen with my options here? Not a lot of options for EPUB. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole idea is with the dark block, uh, the assets are delivered to the owners and it's, they're not right click save. They're not available 
to the public. And you can always update. It doesn't do two page spreads. Uh, I, I think we got we have to do a little bit more work on the EE uh, pub viewer. Um, if, you, if you know anything about EPUB viewers, they're tr generally not amazing. Uh, so the one we have, I'm not especially super fond of. But we can always, if you know of a great EPUB viewer. Oh, uh, yes, um, Joe, this is just on a vanity website. So this could be, you know, joseph.com. And people can buy and people can read. But you could also go inside of MetaMask. And inside the browser in MetaMask, you could uh, read right within there, so from your phone. Uh, you could also crack it open. I have a TV over here. Uh, you could also open up these dark blocks uh, from your TV. Yep. Some of these open source viewers uh, aren't like the best things. So I would say of, of all the file formats we support, our EPUB is the one that hurts my stomach the most. Um, but I could also download this file and then fire it up in, you know, on my Kindle or whatever device I have. And you as the creator set the rules on if download is available or not. You can't allow download. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm all right. How are we doing? You could view it here. So if you claim the free NFT, uh, go to app.darkblock, connect your wallet. And you'd see exactly this and you could consume. And if you built your own website, like this, um, you could embed our viewer on your website. How do we go from a single book to a multi-dimensional book format? Link to Mint. Uh, Link to Mint is uh, darkblock.io slash Alice. Uh, let me get this, I'll put this in chat. And then there's a couple different links there. Uh, free mint. Um, if you have get if you have you know um, Polygon in your wallet, uh, I think you 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 pick you pay the gas fee. And if you go to this ephemeral Sophopias, and we'll clean this up after this this stream is over. If you go to ephemeral Sophopias, uh, we pay the gas. So this will be tr truly for free. And then fire up your MetaMask uh, on your phone, and you'll have it in your wallet, and you'll be able to uh, consume if you go to app.darkblock. If you download the uh, TV app, if you have a Fire TV, you can download it. If you have an Android-friendly TV app, you could download it and read the book, or at least the first chapter I did, um, right from the couch. All right. I think of my my throat hurts. Nobody wants to see my face anymore. I apologize for the blurry screen. I might do a summary and then redo the video, and we'll have that. Oh, excellent, Prism. Thank you. Um, you're too kind. All right. You use a PDF initially. I'm assuming you can use other formats. Start with the. Yes, so I can, man, I can upload dark blocks uh, forever. So let's let's go back to our, right? So I'm gonna reload this just to show you. I think I have one more image available. What do I have available? Um, White Rabbit, Alice, and Cheshire Cat. Uh, White Rabbit. Oh yeah, so let's, 
Alice, let me see what the Alice concept art is. I have one more thing. So imagine if you did a a launch, um, and then you want people bought the first hundred copies of your book. You know, if it was a physical book, there there's nothing you could do. You'd have to put out another edition uh, to add a new footnote or an addendum or whatever the heck. Uh, but with Darkbox, you can just add more content. And that entire, I get that. I mean that the initial NFT format that's minted in Third Web. Yeah, the, the the thing that's minted in third web is literally a ping file and a smart contract. Mm-hmm. That's one of the limitations with NFTs is, you know, you prop, you could, yeah, yeah, you could upload a video, you could upload a 3D model, uh, you could upload some HTML that points to somewhere else, but uh, it's all right-click save and nothing is protected and there's no kind of true ownership. So with dark blocks, um, we allow you to add content to the NFT. So that NFT is more than just a, a monkey or a cat. Mm-hmm. Want to come on board? Come on in, man. Wait, I see you now. Everybody sees you. Oh. Want to come on board? Cool. On and I hear so. Oh. Wait, I see you now. Everybody sees you. All right, I gotta shut off YouTube though, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I just wanted to see how that worked. Awesome. Yeah, no, that was that was cool. It was a great demo. Um, I think we should we'll summarize it. Do it, yes. Do a whole recipe. Put it in the you know, in, in, in the blog and publish that and going to need to do redo some of it because of the blurriness, but, um, and you know, yeah, I don't know what that was about, but to, Joseph, to answer your question as well, like, cause you were asking about if you could have any sort of preview, um, I'm not blurry. That's good to know. <laughs> um, it, yeah, if, 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 uh, you know, what, what prism is working on is this kind of flippable book where you could have the actual, what is actually minted is, so that would that be HTML, Joey, which is what is being minted if it's flippable like that? I don't know how, how what that what's the actual what the file type is, but you know you could basically like flip through the first like three or four pages, um, and then you would just get to a page that says you know to unlock the rest of this book, you know got to buy the NFT, and then the rest of the book is locked in the dark block, um, which is cool. You know more kind of recreates the actual experience of being in a real bookstore where you can take a book off the shelf, look at the cover. Read the first few pages. Maybe you could even read the last last few pages. You know, if you want to, if you're, if you're that type of person. Yep. Um, so that is also possible. Anyway, but th- yeah, no, I don't don't have any other good questions. It was a great demo, and I just your uh, your 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 mid journey skills are are very good. It's it's an amazing tool. Like a bunch of creatives get worried that it's going to screw them out of a job. No, it won't. Photoshop didn't screw you out of a job. You know, these are just tools to, you know, produce more, maybe even kind of to be more creative. Um, I think it's just, it's amazing. Like, what a, what a time. If you can wield the tools, that's what humans do. Hey, Prism, yeah. do you want to jump in and do show and tell? I can send you a link and you could join us right here, right now. Why not? I DM'd you the link on Twitter, Prism. It's in your DMs. Yeah. And you don't, you don't have to, I won't show your face if you don't want. You can do whatever you want. Um, be a mystery man or lady or cat. Preview, yeah, preview feature. You know, Frank, thinking about uh, in our viewer, like some things are just our weave files that aren't encrypted and then other things are encrypted. Maybe you pick and choose. Um, folks have asked for a preview for a while. Uh We'd have to edit the viewer. But I think I think it's doable. Like technically, it's doable for sure. Just how, how do you how do you differentiate what's protected, what's locked, versus the things that are just available on chain in Arweave? We'll see if, if Prism has a link for us. If not, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, we'll just wrap it up. But- yeah, man. Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, we made a book from scratch. Honestly, right? Like, if what an amazing time. And that was just an hour. 
and my crappy skills, but you, you can really flesh out what you deliver to a customer um, mm -hmm. with additional tools. Yeah, I've, I've personally never used Third Web, but I mean, you do make it look easy. So uh... it is easy. It's amazing. These guys, uh, you, you watch one of their videos and you, you just take a half hour, connect your yeah. wallet. All you need to do is connect your wallet. So yeah. can you just use that cover uh, JPEG as an NFT and not bothered with that first chapter? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, actually, the cover is the NFT. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just answering uh, Joseph's question like, yeah, on chain in the metadata, uh, this is the uh, the cover. This is the the NFT. But the NFT, just the ping file and a smart contract. That's not enough meat. If I'm an author and I want to sell books, uh, and I don't want to make it available that anybody can snag it and read it or steal it or whatever. So yeah, that's where dark blocks come to play. We are the. Ooh, yeah, we're the Google Drive of NFTs. We're the uh, file storage for NFTs. Um, we're the file protector for NFTs. Uh, all the things that we're used to doing digitally, um, we can do on blockchain with dark block, a combo of an NFT and unlockable content. Joseph, if you want to, I just dropped the uh, the link in your DMs on Twitter. If you do want to jump on the video to speak directly to Joey, just so there's nothing lost in translation. Talk, talk directly to Joey. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. It's great to have yeah. access. I think really, yeah, that's like these kinds of demos as conversation. Um, you know, lunch and learn. You grab a sandwich. You put us yep. on. We'll show you how to do something that we know how to do. And hopefully you can make money with it. And same for you, Cryptoversal. I dropped the link in your DMs as well earlier. I know you saw it because you responded to me, but in case you're free and want to jump on. And no pressure. Uh, yeah, if you don't. Okay, so, one more question. Is the unlockable content also available for sale? Mm. All good, Prism. Uh, so, like, add a price to the dark block. Ooh. Uh -huh. Frank, don't get me started. All right, here we, we do yeah. have. I'm going to show you. So, rent.darkblock. So, uh, correct, Joseph. So, yeah, oh. we will answer Frank's question, but just quickly, oh, Joseph. Sorry. You're, you're, uh, you're right at any time, correct. So exactly. you could add, you know, if you minted an NFT a year a year ago, you could add unlockable content today. If you minted an NFT and sold it today, you could add unlockable content to that in three years' time. And so this idea of being able to basically take an NFT and turn it into a tokenized kind of container or delivery vehicle for ongoing content is mm -hmm. cool. And, uh, you know, is one of the things that I think opens up new storytelling opportunities too right like you could do you could sell an nft and then you know release like a new chapter to the novel it could be a never-ending story and you're releasing a new chapter every month or something like that and charge a subscription to uh to be able to do that or um you know choose your own adventure nft is like my favorite favorite example um where you could be adding new chapters and the the holders of the nft choose the the next direction and then and then the author goes back, writes the new chapter, drops the new chapter, and as a dark block, the holders, you know, make the choice. So you, you got to, uh, but yeah, you know. we have that already in, you know, crowdfunding, um, where you have these stretch goals. If people, you know, support us and they buy a hundred copies of whatever, uh, so you could do stretch goals. So I'm going to do a stretch goal right now. So we have we've had. Yes, oh yeah, sorry, no, no, I didn't mean to interrupt Joey. I just, but when you get a chance, answer Joseph's next question. I'm going to. Notification system? Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I'm uploading. So everybody who has already uh, purchased and claimed our NFT, uh, we now have added another piece of content, right? So let's see. And it's not all the way uploaded yet, or did I already have it? Uh... Let's see what I got. That's that one. I think it should show up in just a couple minutes. So forgive me that it's not immediate. But you could do, you could keep on adding dark blocks. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm good. Just blown away. One last question. Add something more. Two months. Later. Yeah, you can add content at any time. Can you show the unlocking of the viewer on the vanity site? Vanity site. Um, 
Here's the vanity site. It's going to refresh. Yeah, notification system. Um, Third Web has some kind of mail thing. Um, yeah, we, we just have to find a good tool. Um, yeah, so the, just the tools not, I mean, they're being still being developed, this, these kind of wallet notification type systems. Um, right. There are some out there. Uh, Darkblock's not integrated yet with those, though we've had some talks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, so, so for right now, really, yeah, you would need to be, if you were kind of do this ongoing idea of ongoing content, um, you, you would need to be engaged with your audience already. So either via uh, Twitter, right. uh, if you have a Discord, if you have a mailing list uh, with a newsletter or something like that. Um, but eventually, yes, we, we want to get to the point where we can uh, we can we can notify. So, you know, for instance, Manifold, right, which is a, another platform where there's, you know, creators can go and, and do mints. It's where a lot of the open editions are being minted right now. You, If you register your wallet, with Manifold, you can subscribe to get notifications for when that creator uh, has another mint available. Um, so that is, um, and, and that's just connecting your wallet and giving Manifold uh, your email address. So that's again, platform specific. So technically Darkblock could do something like that where if we have creators, authors coming in, creating these minting pages, uh, you know, if, if people are willing to do that, you know, they would be giving the Darkblock app, the platform, an email address but you know again that's also kind of a centralized option not really ideal since it's you know as as the author you should probably be the one to want to uh have the direct relationship with your readers but yeah there's so. this mail chain crew uh tool um the third web guys um and ladies just published something there you go. Um, but i haven't even played with it yet like it's oh yeah it's... i don't know hey we got prism in the house look at that beautiful skin hey prism yeah all right Oh, I just moisturized. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing? Great demo today. <laughs> oh, I was sweating. I forgot that I, I don't know how to use InDesign. Like, holy smokes, I haven't opened that in a decade. Prism, tell us about the, the flippable book that you're working yeah, on. Yeah, I want to see something. What you got? Oh, I'm not ready to show it yet, but okay. I did put a link in, in the chat. There is a link in the chat uh, for the OpenSea collection, so you could open that. Um, so we were gonna, I am doing, yeah. If you want to throw, we we're going to do a separate live stream Prism with you at some point. Yeah. I talked to Prism about you know as part of his literary NFT month is doing a live stream with him later in the month because he said he was sure. still doing some dev work on it. But uh, you know maybe late February, do a live demo. Yeah, big, big yeah, tease it right now. Yeah, so it's essentially a, a way to create books, but multi they're multi-dimensional books, and they have a flipbook approach that works well with OpenSea. So you can go to OpenSea, you can actually see part of the book, and then you can you can actually see the unlock like like you would in Where's like. Where's the link a, at? Where's that OpenSea uh, link? Later, Joseph. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the questions. Hi, Joseph. Here to help. I'm looking for it. Hold on. Yeah, we talked about this on the space earlier on Tuesday. Someone asked uh, about how could you how how do these how would this uh, a flippable book or render in like spatial, right? I think and kind of got got on a conversation with that. That got prisms. Yeah, that was awesome. Wheels turned. Yeah, you got me. I'm still thinking about it. Thanks for that. Oof. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, <laughs> but we are like in some sense you can actually show Thank you, sir. like a video of the book so you can see like there's an example of it i put in the for you there send you a little message so you uh oh okay so that's like the html embed um you're you uploaded a url or you uploaded a, a html file yep yeah so that's it's, what's it's an R, yeah. it's an arweave uh, application so it so you can deploy with arweave and then um have different NFTs have different covers and different pages. And then also all the zoom ability, like kind of zooming, but you can see it right in. And then you can pick any number of pages that you want to open up. Um, and that's, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, so you can, um, I'm not using, yes. I'm using Person. dark block to store all the images. So yeah. So that, that's cool. There you go. Yeah. Cryptoversal, you can, you can, uh, you, you, you can, embed uh, uh, HTML in the dark block. 
a hundred percent. Make it interactive, right? People unlock it and have uh, have an interactive interactive experience. Even you could scratch, you know, like a, a scratch card to see whatever's inside. You know, we we we've only had a couple of people who have done that. Um, ideally, our viewer would off, also have to have some security controls in the future, um, just that there's not some scary stuff going on, but. Yeah, you, you can upload an HTML file. It will render in the player. Didn't mean to interrupt Prism. So yeah, oh, sorry, no. sir. Oh, no, it's constant. It's all right. Like, I know YouTube streams can just be, like, fun and exciting. So, uh, yeah, thanks for having <laughs> me up here. And uh, so, yeah, it is, uh, like, OpenSea provides a way to create. Basically, they're, they're allowing us to create an embeddable uh, element, HTML element. But it's very restricted as a dev. Like, I can't add links and stuff there, but I am pulling the dark walk content, uh, only images. The HTML, like, I wasn't able to get dark walk to work with all of the, like, I didn't want to have the, the HTML container dark walk, just the loading of the, con the individual content. So the web application is not like secured, but the, the pieces that are, it, the content inside is all secured as well as like the high definition version versus the low def. So it does can, allow can you I, to get- Can I open that iframe? Would you be- uh, on Yeah, the, so you can, click the, you can click the, um, yeah, you can click the link on the right and then you get the full experience and it's like the single yeah. page. So like a comic book, so this is made for a comic book, um, but you know, I just did photos for this example. And then, um, yeah, so you would be able to open it up and see once you have dark block, uh, if you own the NFT, you can connect your wallet directly in the NFT itself and then connect and open it up. So you don't have a different web page that you have to go to. You could just directly unlock it. Um, so with MetaMask or uh, Wallet Connect. That's cool. And so Cryptoversal is asking just to clarify the pages are pulled in from Dark Block to the marketplace. That's a question for you. The the first pages that you see are all coming from Arweave. So web pages coming from Arweave, the images What's are coming public from Arweave. Is Arweave. Yeah, exactly. So yep. Yep. It, it, ha it has a way to, um, you can publish. So I'm using a product called AR.io to publish web applications to uh, like static web pages. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I can all get into all that, like if you want to get into the dev side of it, like what I did. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool um, process. And then it is multidimensional. Like I can go to any and it, uh, the, the NFTs have their own individual URL. So they can have a separate book, different cover and even pages. So you can sign a page, for example, and have it for like book number, you know, X, whatever number that is. So you can do some really cool stuff there. This this player here is is that just a PDF that's loading and then it, it manipulates it or is it a series of JPEGs? Neither. Neither. Yeah. Okay. So, you want me to come back? I'll have to come and give you the details. We do, of course. Yeah, yeah. And, and this this stream was like supposed to be for like book publishers and you know authors. Now we're getting all freaking geeky. Yes. Yeah. Well, we yeah. say the geek. I mean, but obviously authors are interested in this because I think a few would like this idea of being able to. You know, read the you know, allowing people for free to read the first few pages, uh, and then run into that message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's great. Sweet, absolutely cool. Um, well, yeah, so we work on <laughs> scheduling that. Um, so again, just before we before we wrap up, so literary NFT month, you know, Dark Blocks kind of unofficially designated February as, as that. We're focusing on this use case a lot this month. And um, you know that means uh, some some Twitter Spaces, uh, more live streams like this. I'm going to do publish um, this. Uh, this is a recipe. We have uh, um, next Tuesday actually in, this, in uh, our Twitter Space is going to be with Joseph uh, Nassis, who is participating here. He's a New York Times bestselling author who's uh, minted some NFTs, um, mostly on Book.io so far, but. Um, we're going to be talking to him about his experience as an author and exploring Web3. Uh, and then we have um, another, should be another good demo live stream next Thursday with um, Soul Type. 
Um, haven't done the big announcement yet, but um, you know we're uh, planning to Soul Types plan to integrate Dark Block, so which, which will be cool. We'll be making that announcement and doing a live stream to show off their platform. Um, and we're the last thing we're doing a literary NFT sample pack. So we're uh, a lot of authors um, that are already in the Web three space, and if we can get any that aren't, I guess, but um, are going to be contributing uh, first chapter, first few pages of their books or journals or you know, poems to be included as dark blocks as part of this free to mint uh, NFT. So we'll just have a, a minting page created just like Joey showed today, where people can mint this free sample pack and unlock, you know, um, you know, each EPUB or PDF will be the first, uh, first, first chapter, a few pages of these authors. And then there'll be links to where they can go. If you like what you read, you know, go mint this NFT. Mm -hmm. um, and actually one author is also going to be including um, a sample of her audiobook as well as a in the dark blocks Sweet. so that'll be cool anyway i want to get so, that, yeah i want to get that i want to get that audiobook uh playing on alexa maybe oh yeah i, I should totally put you in touch with her yeah. i love prism that dude is the most shameless plug guy <laughs> of all times i'll just pretend like he's not here, right here sitting next to me like you are awesome and it's I you know I just got an email from YouTube that says the stream was on. Oh, good. So, uh, I didn't know it did that. So I'm there. happily surprised. Cool. Well, let's wrap this up because yeah, let's uh, wrap I up. have an old man bladder. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. You guys Ciao. are awesome. Everyone, see y'all next week. Yeah. Prism, thank you, sir. Thanks, Prism. No problem. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs>